We're going to start with some stationary ball handling here, and the move that we are going to focus on is a drag dribble. We're going to go over three drag dribbles, a cross drag, an under drag, and a punch drag. Okay, so with all these, we'll start with the, uh, the first progression and build up into moving within a confined or small space. Again, while we're moving in our small space, you want to be quick and agile in that space, as well as control your body and your footwork to try to make the move efficient and effectively. So the first one we're going to work on is going to be a cross drag. So what I want you to do, we're going to walk through this together at home. I want you to put your right foot in front and your left foot behind. So kind of get in that stance. We're in the staggered stance. Perfect. We'll bend our knees just a little bit. And one key focus, I want you to focus on keeping this back foot on your toe. Okay. So don't let the whole foot stay on the ground. Get up on your toe so you're a little bouncy so you can push off that back foot. So you're on that back toe, and all we're going to work on is the cross drag. So you're really going to push that ball out in front of you and lean and distribute and shift your weight. You're going to pull that ball back so your body weight will shift with the basketball. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to go 20 seconds of just the stationary of working on the concept of pulling the ball back and around, making that cross drag, and manipulating and controlling and shifting our body weight through there. Okay. So we're going to start here in five seconds. So get in your position. Again, we're just pulling that ball back. we got 20 seconds here, just working on the foundation of it. Starting in three, two, one. Good. Work at home here. We're just trying to pull that ball back the best we can, reaching out in front of us, shifting our weight onto our front foot, and then back to our back foot with the basketball. All right, we're just going to do a couple of these. Keep working. All right, really snap that ball back. Once you get a little bit better, add some heat onto that basketball. Again, it's around your knee, around your shin, and pulling that ball back. Keep working here, we're almost there. We'll go five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Great job. All right, now we're gonna flip it. All right, so catch your breath. You're gonna put your left foot forward, and then your right foot back. Now at home, you might have noticed this as well. You're really working on balance through this too. So make sure you stay nice and controlled. Your legs should burn just a little bit. Okay, so stay nice and low and controlled here. Work on that balance and work on that core and leg strength through here. So on this side, it's the same thing, but now our left, le our left arm is gonna pull back while our body rocks front to back, okay, with the basketball. You're moving with the basketball to create a hesitation, to create a change of pace so you can make a read once we start going live here and moving. All right, so I'll give you five seconds here. Get set up in your position. Again, back foot, we're on our toe. Bend those knees. Start in three, two, one. We got 20 seconds here. Keep working. Work on pulling that ball backwards. Shift your weight front to back, pulling it backwards. Good. Eyes up, chest up here. Keep a nice low center of gravity and make those legs work. Let them burn a little bit. It's good for you. You'll be okay. Let them burn. Work on that strength. Really pull that ball back. We got 10 seconds here. Now work on the pace of the ball. Make that ball go a little bit faster back. A little bit stronger, harder dribble going back. There we go, good work. Good work at home, keep working, come on. We got five, four, three, two, one. Great job, that's the first progression of our cross drag. Now we're gonna progress up to work in a confined space or a small area. Okay, so make sure you have enough space, move some things if you need to, where you can move around, okay, and operate in a small space. So this time you'll be dribbling with your right hand. You're gonna step out with your right foot to get in that position, and you're gonna cross drag back. And this time, when you move backwards, you're gonna shuffle with the basketball to create that separation, just like a retreat dribble. Okay, so we're trying to create separation away from the defense because they've cut you off or there's help side, and we have to have space to shoot, dribble, and pass. All right, so we'll be here, we'll dribble, you'll step out, cross drag, coming back. Now you're going left side. Left foot, ooh, step out, cross drag, back. All right, so walk through that at home for a little bit. I'll give you 10 seconds here. Get your footwork down, focus on that front foot hitting, pulling the ball, shifting your weight back. Then your left foot hitting, shifting your weight back, moving with the basketball. All right, we're gonna start here in five seconds. We're going 30 seconds total. All right, go as hard as you can. Make sure you're changing pace through there. Ready, starting in five, four, Three, two, and one. Let's get it. So we're cross drag, attacking out, stepping back in to that cross drag. Good. Ooh, changing pace, controlling, keep our vision, 
Stepping out, pulling that ball back. Good, way to work, guys, come on. Keep working at home. Keep that heart rate up. Make sure you're shifting with the ball, creating space. Creating space backwards, front to back movements. There we go, keep working. Good, good work, guys. Keep working at home, working on a cross drag. Cross drag here, 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Great job, great job. That's our cross drag, way to work. All right, y'all, drill number two here. So we're gonna work on a punch drag. All right, so all the punch drag is the same foot and same hand, and they're gonna touch and dribble at the same time. So we're gonna work on that rhythm first. So let's walk through this. Everybody get a nice staggered stance like we did with the first drill. All right, so our right foot will be in front. Again, our back foot, our toe. Good, we're on our toe, okay? So we're here, we're on our toe here. So I want you to pick the foot up and put it down. You're just gonna work on that rhythm of putting the foot and ball down at the same time there, okay? So we're gonna go 20 seconds, but we're here, you're just working on that rhythm of stepping and dribbling at the same time to create that relationship and that connection between the ball and your foot. All right, so get that staggered stance. We're gonna start here in five seconds, nice and low. Again, let those legs burn a little bit, and you'll pick it up and put it down with the dribble. Starting in three, two, one. Let's get it, we're just working on that rhythm. You can gather after it. You're just gonna step out a little farther. And you're gonna plant that foot and dribble at the same time. All right, punching, dribbling at the same time. Create that connection between our what? Our feet and the ball, perfect, all right? Foot and ball has to be connected here. All right, they're on the same string. We got eight seconds, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Great job. Now we're gonna go left side, same thing. On this side, we're gonna flip it. So yes, it'll be our left foot and our left hand. So let's get in a staggered stance. Left foot will be in front, right foot is behind. We're here nice and low, and we're gonna step, and when that foot hits the ground, the ball will hit the ground with it. All right, so it's the same rhythm as we did. It makes you pound that basketball hard. The more you have on that dribble, the more momentum you're gonna be able to use from that bounce to help you separate. Okay, so hard pound to help you separate back. All right, so get in your stagger stance. Bend your knees, we're gonna go 20 seconds here. Foot and ball are connected, same time they touch the ground. Ready? Starting three, two, one. Let's go, work and hold. Good. Pound that ball. Hard pound, come on, a little harder, guys. Harder, harder at home. There we go, good job. Keep your vision. Active eyes here, punching that basketball, same time with the foot. Let those legs burn a little bit. Only going 20 seconds. You can do a lot of things for 20 seconds, so you might as well do it right right now. Come on. Keep working, eight seconds. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, way to finish there. Now we're gonna work on this in space, okay? So we'll attack into it with just a little step, and then you're gonna punch, okay? So with this one, we're gonna go 20 seconds with the right side. Attacking and punching, same foot, same hand. And then I'll say switch, and we'll go 20 seconds with the left side, all right? We won't have a break in between. So be ready to work for 40 whole seconds, all right? We ready at home, catch your breath real quick. And we're gonna start here in eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, let's go, going to work here. Punch that ball. All right hand right now, all right foot. Attack it downhill, and then punch it. Attack downhill, and then we're punching out of that. All right, keep working, keep working. Attacking downhill, and then we're punching. Off the mic. There we go, keep working, punch it. Good, five seconds, four, three, two, 
One, left side, left side now, and left hand. Left side, hey, left hand. There you go, let's work, come on, y'all. Punch that ball. Ooh, hard punch, long and low stride. If you mess up, try again. Remember, we're all trying to improve. Doesn't matter where you're at now. Continue to work on those hands and that footwork. <clears throat> Separating back, punch. Separate back, punch. There we go, great job. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job, guys. There's our punch drag. All right, y'all, here's drill number three, and we're continuing our drags here. It's gonna be an under drag, all right? So all an under drag is, is a behind the leg move. Whoop, just like that, dribble it off your knee, and make sure you go and get it. All right, so drill number three here is an under drag, okay? So off of this, this under drag, we're gonna step out, and we're gonna go behind the leg to separate. So let's walk through this together. You'll put your right foot in front and left foot behind. Again, nice low position. Just like the last two, we should be an owner of this stance right now. You should own this stance, okay? You should know how to control it, okay? Take pride in that. Control this stance, and all we're gonna do now is again, shifting our weight with the ball front to back. We're gonna go behind our leg and then gather. All right, pull it back behind our leg and gather. We're just gonna work on this rhythm here for 20 seconds on the right side and then 20 seconds on the left side. Move your body with the ball, work on that change of pace. All right, so set it up. We'll start here in five seconds. Get nice and low. Starting in five, four, three, two, one. Work at home, you're going behind the leg, and you're trying to separate back, all right? Fit that ball through the small hole there. If you mess up, it's okay. You just gotta go hustle after it and get it. Just working on moving back with that basketball. Once you have this rhythm down, add some pace to the basketball. So really throw that thing through once you got that movement and that rhythm down. We got 10 more seconds here. Three, two, one. Good job, good walk through there. Now let's put our left foot in front. Perfect, and then our right foot behind. Make sure it's on its toe. Open your hips up just a little bit and sit down, chest up, hips over, hips over uh, shoulders right now, or shoulders over hips, okay? You can't have your hips over your shoulders. Shoulders over hips right now, okay? So now we're gonna be here, we're gonna pull that ball behind our leg. All right, so we'll pull it behind our leg. It'll be our left hand to our right hand. Again, our body is moving with the basketball. All right, so get nice and low in your stance. We'll start in five, four, three, two, one, good, we got 20 seconds here. Work on moving with that basketball. If you need to get challenged, throw that ball through as hard as you can every time, all right? Throw that ball hard through, moving and rocking with it. Try to keep 10 toes forward the best you can. Your hips and your toes might open up just a little bit, but keep that nice low position. Okay, work on that balance. Let those legs burn. 10 more seconds here. Five, four, Three, two, one. Perfect, feel confident with that rhythm now? So now we're gonna implement it, all right? We're gonna put it within space here. So now you're going to attack out and you'll under drag back, okay? So attack out, under drag, you're gonna alternate. We're gonna go here for 30 seconds only, attacking and then under drag back. So getting that foot out in front, pulling that ball behind, all right? We're gonna start here in 10 seconds. So get ready, get set. Starting in five, four, three, two, one. Let's work at home. So under drag, stepping out, pulling that ball back. Attack, stepping out, pulling that ball back. Shift your weight at home, keep working. Come on, continue to work at home. If you mess up, we'll hustle after it and we'll go get it. Keep working, good, good, good rhythm there. Attack as hard as you can and then pull that ball back. Hard as you can, pull that ball back. Separating away from the defense. Again, going 30 seconds. Good, good work, good work. 10 toes forward, trying to attack in a straight line here. Good, 15 seconds. Let's work here, let's work hard, come on. Ooh, pull it, pull it back as hard as you can through here. Good, attacking through, attacking through. 
There we go, attack, pull it. There you go, good job. Five, four, three, two, one. Perfect, way to work. That's our under dredge. Good job, good job, guys. All right, y'all, so we're gonna get moving now. We're gonna work on an agility ball handling drill. You can set this up at home. You need four objects or four cones. If you don't have cones, like we've talked about, use a bottle of hairspray, uh, a shampoo bottle, a shoe box, whatever you need that you can dribble around. So how we're gonna set this up is we're gonna make a little square as big as you can make it. You can make it as big or small as you need to make it. If you don't have enough space, what you can do is just use one cone, and I will show you that drill after. If you don't have space to, to use this drill or make this drill, I'll show you that after, where you just need one cone, and we can work on the same thing, just in a smaller space. If you do have space, you got four objects, we're gonna do our four cone agility ball handling drill. And the ball movements that we're gonna work on here is a cone circle and an exchange. And again, an exchange is a crossover, a between the legs, or a behind the back. So any one of those three can work perfectly fine for this drill. So you'll start down here. We're gonna go 30 seconds. You're gonna make a cone circle. All right, you can start in your right or your left hand here. And then once you make a cone circle, you've got an exchange, so you'll change hands. Change hands, you're going to the next one. Once you get to this one, you're going cone circle. All right, once you get to that, little dribbles around the cone, you have an exchange. Go on to the next one. You'll go cone circle. Once you make your circle around the cone, you've got an exchange. Attack into the next cone. Cone circle. Good, then you have your exchange and you'll repeat. Your challenge here is to try to be as quick as you can in the small space in between each cone. So try to get to each cone as quick as you can while you're still under control, all right? So, I'll let you get set up. Pause the video if you need to, because we're gonna start here in 10 seconds. Grab your objects. All right, start in eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Here we go, we got 30 seconds. Make it a little circle, attacking to that next one. Little circle, oh, attacking to that next one. Little circle, attacking to the next cone. Make sure those little dribbles are as small as you can make them. And you're just continuing all the way around here. Going left hand here, little circle. Making that exchange. Again, going 30 seconds. Try to get as many as you can. Try to be as quick as you can in between each one. Good, halfway. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. There we go. Way to finish, way to get through that. Now your challenge at home is you're gonna flip, you're gonna go the opposite way. You're gonna put 30 seconds back on the clock. You can use your phone if you need to. And you've got 30 seconds again, going the opposite way, doing the same thing. It's our box agility drill. Hey guys, so we're gonna work on our passing drill here in our lesson plan. This passing drill is gonna include a couple of pound dribbles, exchanges, as well as a one hand bounce pass. All right, so I have two options for you. I have the regular option, then I have a more advanced option. I'll show the regular one first. All this is gonna be is gonna be a pound and across, pound between, pound behind, and once you've made those three moves, you're gonna make a bounce pass into the wall with just one hand, okay, working on that ball control. Once it comes back, you're repeating, you're doing the same thing. Pound cross, pound behind, or between, and then pound behind the back. Once you get here, again, one hand, bounce pass, repeating that all the way through. Everything is a bounce pass. There, good, if you mess up, that's how we get better. You gotta keep getting uncomfortable going through. So again, last one here. How should I end it? Okay. All right, so last one here. We're going through. Challenge yourself. Passing that right off the wall right there. 
Option number two is gonna incorporate a behind the back pass. Okay, so for this one, we're gonna start, we'll go pound, cross, pound, between, pound, behind. All right, so it's the same thing, but this time we're gonna make a behind the uh, back pass once we do all those things. Okay, so I'll start here, pound, cross, pound, between, pound, behind. Once you've gone behind, you're gonna wrap back, you'll make a bounce pass to the wall. On this one, you have to start with your left hand if you're facing this. All right, so if you're in your left hand, your left shoulder is facing the wall, you'll start with your left hand here. So again, it's pound, cross, pound, between, pound, behind. All right, and once you get here, you're snapping that pass with a bounce pass behind the back. It's the same thing on this side, but since your right shoulder is facing the wall, your right hand will start with it. Once you get here, again, left hand behind the back pass to the wall, okay? So walk through those options, pick which one you are going to work on, okay? And then what I want you to do is you have 20 reps of both of those, okay? So 20 reps on your right hand and 20 reps on your left hand. So that means if you're doing the first drill, you're doing a, a total of 40 since we're alternating all the way through, okay? So a rep is the ball handling moves and then the pass. So for example, if I go here and make my move, that would be one, okay? So I have 20 more facing this direction and then I would do 20 facing this direction. If you're doing the regular version, you just have 40 in a row total. All right, so that's our passing drill. Pause the video, knock those out really quick, and then we'll get on to the next drill. Hey, everybody, we're gonna work on our shooting. We don't have a basket at home, so we're gonna work on the wall right here. We're gonna focus on our footwork, and we're gonna continue that drag footwork that we worked on in our stationary ball handling. Okay, so we had three options of drags. One was a punch drag, one was a cross drag, and one was an under drag. If you forget what those are, we can review some of those. So a punch drag is same hand, same foot, and you'll punch. A cross drag is where you're reaching out, you're crossing in front. The last one's an under drag where you're going behind the leg, reaching out, and you're coming back, settling. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna work on those three moves and we're gonna get shots out of them. So I would like you to pick at least so what I would like you to do is do 10 of each of these moves. So you're gonna take 30 total shots on the right side and 30 total shots on the left side. Yes, that's 60 shots, but the only way that we get better with shooting is repetition and making that form precise and repping out good form and good habits. Okay, so we'll be here, you're gonna dribble with your right hand, you're gonna go punch drag and then foot replace. Okay, so you're separating away. So as you can see, this red line's in front of me, so I'll step out to the red line and then once I step on the red line, I'm replacing back away where my back foot's at, okay? Once I replace my feet, I'm gonna take my shot off the wall, all right? So I'm gonna do 10 punch drags, I'll do 10 cross drags, 10 under drags, and then I'll flip and go left side, 10 punch drags, 10 cross drags, and 10 under drags, okay? So that's your challenge at home. I'm gonna demonstrate one of each move right now so you can see them, and then I want you to go out and rep them. Okay, so we're here. We'll go punch drag, replace into your shot. Again, holding that follow through, fingers over at the rim. Follow through pointing at the target on the, on the, uh, the wall right now. Okay, so cross drag, foot replace into your jump shot. The last one, under drag, foot replace into your jump shot there. Okay, left side looks the same way. It's just flip, punch, replace into your jump shot. Cross replace into your jump shot then our last one here under drag replace into your shot right there okay make sure the ball is rotating and make sure you're holding your follow through on those shots be very detailed right now and hold yourself accountable on making sure your form is precise and how you want it to look all right guys so who, here's our shooting drill right now and we're going to implement those drags that we worked on in stationary ball handling so we're gonna have three spots right here, and we're gonna work on a punch drag, an under drag, and a cross drag. Coach Derek right now will be demonstrating over here on the left side all three of those movements while I'm telling you what the drill will incorporate. All right, so the first one is going to be a punch drag where we step out and we take our jump shot. All right, and then the second one will be an under drag where you'll step out Good, and you'll take our jump shot. And the last one will be our cross drag, where we're coming through, and it's behind the leg, 
and we're into a jump shot. Now this all depends on the amount of space that you have at your basket or at your hoop. All right, so we're gonna use all three spots. So we'll use our block, we'll use midline, and block, okay? So again, Coach Derek is demonstrating so you can watch him on those moves. We're gonna work on the right side and the left side, and we're gonna use our three spots going around through here. Now, our challenge and our drill here at home is we are going to shoot a punch drag at all three locations with our right hand, and then a punch drag at all three locations with our left hand, okay? Once we've done that, we'll shoot a, a cross drag at all three locations, and then we're going back with the left hand cross drag, and then we will get into our under drag at all three locations, and then we'll come back. Once you've shot all three of those, all three of those moves three times at each spot, then you are finished, okay? All right, guys, we've almost made it through the workout. We're to that time of the workout and, and the lesson plan that we're gonna have our performance focus. Again, in this cycle, we're working on jump control and plyometrics. We are gonna work on building a strong base right now and working on some, some balance drills and some strengthening drills. The first one we are gonna talk about is just a one leg stance, all right? And we're just gonna hold. So you're gonna be here and you're just gonna stand on one leg. And what I want you to do is hold that position. We're gonna work on ankle stability as well as our balance through here. And you're just gonna touch your toe and then come back up, all right? If you can't touch your toe, you can touch your sock or you can touch your knee, okay? One really, really, really big focus here is I need you to keep your back flat and hinge at the hips, all right? So all that means is you have to hinge at the hips. We don't want to arch our back, all right, around our back through there. We want to hinge at the hips and push our butt backwards, all right? So our back staying neutral. And when you're down here, you'll touch your toe or you'll touch your knee and you'll come back up. Now, when we're doing these, we are going to do 15 taps on the right side and 15 taps on the left side. Okay, so I'll show a couple of them right here. We're here, nice neutral back, getting low. I'm gonna touch my sock and then I'll come back up. That's one. You guys have to do 15 at home here. So I'll do one more, boom, there's two. Again, see the pace, it's not fast. I'm not rushing through it. It's nice, slow and controlled and I'm owning and controlling every position through there. Once I've done the right side, it'll be the left side. It's the same thing, I'm going down touching and then coming right back up through there okay so that is our first part of our performance workout so pause the video knock out 15 on the right leg and 15 on the left leg and then I'll see you back here for exercise number two all right so exercise number two right now we're gonna build off our balance that we just worked on so this time we're gonna be here we are going to add an explosive hop out of this okay so we're gonna be here single leg RDL, or our single leg stance right here. You're gonna go down and touch your sock. And once you touch your sock, this time instead of going up nice and slow, you're gonna explode up, okay? And we're only gonna do eight of them on the right leg and eight on the left leg. So go down, touch your sock, keep a nice neutral position, hinge at the hip, and then you're gonna jump up. When you jump, drive your knee and your opposite arm up, okay? All right, drive your knee, opposite arm up, just like we're sprinting or running, okay? Trying to get triple extension through there. So we'll touch. Drive it up, that's one. You have eight of these, nice and slow and controlled on the way down, drive it up, that's two. Try to jump as high as you can and create as much force. Think about digging your toes through the ground and pushing off to explode up to really activate that ankle. You do eight on the right, eight on the left. All right, so pause the video, knock those out, and I'll see you back for exercise number three. Okay, good job, we're almost there. You've gotten through both exercises. Now we're on to exercise number three. This one is gonna be more plyometric and dynamic in nature, so we're gonna be moving a lot more. So this is in and out hops. So you're gonna start in a nice skinny stance, and all you're gonna do is do two inside and then two outside, two inside, two outside. With this, you are gonna go uh, 10 seconds where a little short, small choppy jumps, and then 10 seconds where you're trying to jump as high as you can, still focusing on that footwork. All right, so for example, I'll go here in 10 seconds with little ones, trying to go as quick as I can, touching. All right, you can use your phone or you can count in your head your 10 seconds here. Once you've done your 10, now you're going as high as you can, doing two, as high as you can, as high as you can, jumping through there. So two in, two out, two in, two out, two in, two out. Two in, two out. All right, trying to explode as high as you can. You're gonna go through that two times, okay? So you go 10 seconds short and choppy, 
10 seconds high and tall to catch your breath. 10 seconds short and choppy. 10 seconds high and tall. Pause the video. I'll see you at the end and that'll wrap up our, our workout. Hey, great job. Way to finish lesson plan number eight. I'm proud of you guys. Continue to work. I know I'm not there to hold you accountable, but I know that you're at home holding yourself accountable. Okay, so continue to push yourself. We, again, we have the antidote here. You just have to use it. We gotta continue to stay ready and stay focused on self-improvement and getting better. All right, good job at home, way to work.